The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. So we'll start off the day like we usually do, and that is to take a look at the uh, German DAX. Uh, we'll look at that on the daily and also on the 60-minute. And as you can see, we're completing uh, big ABCD patterns uh, up into this area, similar to what we're seeing here uh, in our stock market. Uh, the next one we want to check on, of course, uh, is the FTSE. Our good friend, old Boris Johnson, gets to see how he's doing over there, and you'll bring this up and we'll be able to see what's going on here. Uh, also made a little bit of a retracement there, as you can see uh, in the FTSE. Fits up really nicely. Folks, uh, remember that when we started the show last yesterday, that the focus that uh, we were looking at this coming week in the, the uh, newsletter and stuff was the short on crude oil and also the potential for the gold to go a lot lower. And uh, we, we've certainly started to see that. Let's start off with the gold here. Got a lot to cover here today, so let's try to see if we can get this together and get it all done. Here's the gold. Uh, last night, you can see we broke down to that 1488 uh, level. Uh, we've rallied up to around 1492. Now, the only way this is going to turn is if we see a trade above 1498, and then I will say, yes, that's a pretty good bottom in here, and it certainly could be. But uh, right now, we'll just have to look at it. Remember uh, these hanging man candles that we see here on this uh, four-hour chart in gold? There were six of them, and they, uh, uh, what, two? You only see five here. You only see four here, but there are two others on the other side of the page. That, uh, that, <laughs> that reminds me of something. My mother, well, never mind. Anyway, the hanging man uh, uh, pattern works pretty good. Uh, and when it does it, you know, it turns around right away. But that's much. this is what we're looking at right now. I think we're going to get down to that uh, 1472, 1466 area in the gold if, uh, if these patterns continue to go. Now, this could all change, especially if we get above 1502. If we were to rally above 1502 today, then I would say, yes, that bottom was most probably in. But as it looks like now, it's just been following uh, perfectly. In fact, last night, uh, what we did last night was was exactly what we did on Sunday night, and that was rally up to a 382 retracement and then uh, break $11 uh, uh, an ounce. So uh, it's doing exactly the same thing. Now, that if we get above that 1502, that would certainly change that scenario. Whether it happens or not, you know, I don't know. But you know the good part, folks? Nobody else does either because this is just technical stuff. It has anything to do with these things that are going on in the uh, world of uh, politics or whatever. So let's uh, move on to, I've covered uh, the Apple. Uh, you know, I, I've mentioned it several times. We've got a big number of patterns up here. At the uh, 1455, excuse me, 1450, Apple's not there yet. It's probably going to be there tomorrow, but uh, the earnings come out tomorrow. But we have these big ABCD patterns. I'm going to run through some of these big stocks because uh, when you're dealing with these, I mean, you know, you're talking about, uh, you know, six stocks control the Dow Jones Industrial Average. you got about uh, uh, 20 stocks that control the NASDAQ and about 50 stocks that control the S&P. So, you know, it's really, uh, you know, it's... It's a mar market of high cap stocks. If you look at those FANG stocks, you know they, they take about 45% of the NASDAQ. Now, this is Apple, as you can see here. Uh, we've been as high as a 248. Uh, as of yesterday. And of course, the earnings come out tomorrow. But uh, these are all long-term ABCD patterns. We've showed them on the daily. We showed them on the monthly. And the reason why I do that, folks, is when you go back in the history books and look at it, yes, it really did mean something. But it might not mean anything for a while yet. So we'll have to take a look at. Here's the long-term uh, weekly chart on the uh, Apple. And here again, you'll see that it's also moving up into that area. How high it's going to get, I don't know. But remember the difference between, let's say it's at 149, and we'll say, let's give, let's get, let's say it gets to one, uh, 260. Let's say it gets to 260 with the earnings. Well, if we're looking at, uh, 
248, and is it two? Wow, am I losing it? Just a second. I think it's 248, is it? Is it 148? Yeah, it's 248. Yeah, we're sitting at 248, and if the, the earnings go crazy and it gaps up, then uh, it'll get to 268 or something like that. But the difference between the price objective that you're looking at, which was 245 and 268 on a percentage basis, is very, very small. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, you're going to get a real flavor of whether technical analysis works or not over these next uh, few weeks and days, I believe, because you're going to see some pretty wild things happening in some of these markets. The two things that we focused on in the newsletter this week, the number one thing, of course, was the short crude oil. That was the one that looked the clearest to us. Uh, it, uh, we sent out several videos on this. It was uh, uh, we, we showed the three drive to a top pattern, the ABCD pattern on the daily, and we've broken more than $2 a barrel on Monday and Tuesday. So we've had a pretty good correction in that. And uh, whether that's going to continue or not, we don't know. But uh, what we'll be watching is to see what that first bounce will give us. That'll tell us a little bit more about the uh, thing on the crude oil. Remember, the Saudi Arabian thing is coming out. I don't know when that Aramco deal is coming out. You stock guys probably know that, but that's going to be a big event. I believe it's going to be one of the bigger events we've seen on uh, the, these markets in, uh, in quite some time. So that's a main thing to keep a very, very close eye on also I would want to watch. Now, let's take a look at a couple other of these big stocks that are in here. Here's one yesterday. This is, I'm doing this because there was so much emotionalism about the big breakout into new high ground, and we did see it in some of the things. We didn't see it in the IWM or the New York Stock Exchange, but uh, we did see it, in, or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. But you'll notice in Google, uh, we did complete that uh, ABCD pattern. Uh, we did make a double top, and as a matter of fact, it's a triple top going way back to 1290. Uh, I don't know where it's I don't know where it's trading today, but that should be some pretty strong uh, resistance uh, up in that area. So we have Google and Apple also uh, doing its thing. And, of course, the one that is really interesting, of course, is the uh, – is this list? Well, I want to do that secondly. Hold on, I want to bring up the one on the uh, uh, on Microsoft because it's it that really got a lot of a lot of action yesterday. Pull this up here. It opened right on its. Uh, uh, how much was it down? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it was down from the earnings or not. Is it trading below? Uh, 1280. Oh, okay, 1277. So it backed off about 20 bucks. No big deal. Okay, <clears throat> no big deal. Okay, look at look at uh, Microsoft, folks. Here we've been in this really tight trading range since July 15th. The high of 142, a low of 130, and uh, of course we gapped up above all of that, uh, completing that uh, butterfly pattern. And uh, we got up to 145.80. Uh, if it stays here today, <clears throat> if it's <clears throat> time out. If it stays here for two days and doesn't do anything and closes in the lower part of the range today, boy, what I would do if that happens, I, I'm not a stock trader, but I do know technical patterns. I, I'll cover that in just a second. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, I've got the chart of Microsoft up there showing you the uh, butterfly pattern and the big gap that's up there at the 1.27. The pattern that I'm looking at is if we stay here in this area of around 142 to 144 in uh, Microsoft today and close near the low end of the range today in Microsoft, uh, and it, oh boy, oh boy, that, that sets up a pattern called the two black crows. Uh, that's a candlestick pattern. Uh, Steve Neeson talked about it in one of his book, but I, I found it many, many years ago when John Hill pointed it out to me from a man named George Cole back in the 30s called a book called Key to Speculation. And uh, that he also called it the 95% rule because that thing works about 95% of the time. What you do is if, if Microsoft closes between 144 and 142 today uh, on the near the low end of the range, you know what? It, well, it has to do that if it's going to do that. So if it's got to close near the low end of the range, uh, leaving that big gap and then the next morning uh, if it doesn't gap down you just get out because it it would really it sets up for a tremendous reversal so we'll watch that just for kicks and giggles tomorrow because it'll be fun to see if uh, if it, that pattern does it's really rare you don't see it very often at all so we'll keep an eye on that okay let's move on to a couple others that i i did want to uh, mention and bring to your attention because i think they're important uh, yeah it the, the, the bill mr bill what we're looking at there is a, a microsoft's at uh, 144 right now what you'd like to see on the close today uh, the ideal price would be like 143 140 42 and a half is sitting there and then if it closes near there hasn't filled that gap then the strategy is you sell it short and uh, if, if you're wrong of course uh, it's going to open higher the next day and that will be your loss and you know there's no news coming out well there could be but the the, the uh, earnings have already passed so you know the earnings you've got a lot of people that you know if during that uh, uh, what uh, three and a half months of uh, consolidation between uh, you know 139 and one 140 and 130 and 129, nobody wanted to buy it. Everybody wanted to buy it yesterday. So that's a sign that uh, things are getting, you know, really exciting from that end. So pay close attention to that one. That'll be really fun to watch. Uh, 
There's a couple others that look really interesting. Uh, you'll notice the, uh, uh, well, the, the, let, let me just show you the divergence here. You already know the divergence in the Dow Jones and stuff. Let's just get this up here so you can see it. And the reason why that is, is because there's about five stocks, that, six stocks that control the uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's price weighted. It's not cap weighted. So the higher price stocks, you know, make the thing move. But you'll notice here that we, we've not made anywhere near new highs. All we did yesterday, we just barely took out the highs of last week uh, in the Dow Jones. We're slightly lower today, but really nothing. But uh, it's been, you know, lagging the market somewhat. We've seen the same thing in the IWM. We've talked about that also, the fact that the IWM was uh, lagging and, and it continues to lag. And whether it's going to continue to lag or not, we don't know. But that's just part of the what's going on. There's so much of this is based on what's in the news and what they're feeding you, well, what they're talking to you about things on Wall Street. So these are big things. Now, you know, you've got uh, markets uh, like Apple. I mean, my gosh, it's the largest uh, stock in the world. Uh, you know, it's the largest held stock in the world. I, I don't know what the value is. I think it's over a trillion, it has to be over a trillion dollars now. So everybody's in it. There, You know, there are no sales on Apple on Wall Street, folks. Uh, do you know how often that happens? Not very often. It's almost like a stock that has no buys. That'll probably be PG&E after what's going on in California with the fires. Boy, that's really a, really a sad situation out there. So we need to send some white light into that area. That's absolutely for sure. Okay. Uh, the next one I wanted to, to share with you uh, is the uh, NASDAQ composite because we did have something uh, very unusual happening in that yesterday, and that is we had a gap up and we also made a new high uh, from where we were in August. Not by much, but just by a hair's breadth, we did uh, we did make that high. Now, whether that's going to be a double top or not, you know, remains to be seen because it's still a little bit early uh in the program, so that's what we're watching. Now, I did already talk about the uh, crude oil. Uh, we're down more than a little more than two dollars a barrel, so that's telling you that you know we had a pretty good move. Uh, and you want to be uh, if you're in that on the short side, make sure you protect yourself to to get some uh, profits if uh, if they do happen to occur. Now, I wanted to uh, bring one other chart that's interesting because this is one that we were focusing on way back on September the uh, 13th when we were doing the seminar in uh, London with Tom Hugard and Dr. David Paul is we had that new moon that occurred on September the 13th and the market dropped uh, a little more than 8% uh, into the October uh, 1st low. And then, of course, we went up and made new highs now. And as you can see here, there's a possibility on this ABCD, we can move another 30 handles higher, uh, easy, in the S&P to complete that ABCD. So we'll see. Now, what's interesting is if you look at the low that we made on the 13th, the 14th of August to the high we made on the uh, 13th of September, that was 19 days and the low that we made on October to where we were yesterday was 19 days. So whether those highs and lows come in or not, you know, remain to be seen. But, you know, we're technicians and we're just trying to find the ones that try to fit the uh, patterns that we're looking for, try to find the easy ones. That's the main thing. There's been a couple of people asking about the natural gas. Boys and girls, I never said I was perfect. <laughs> you remember yesterday we were talking about the natural gas, folks. It was in a heck of a move to the upside, and I, we were making ABCD pattern, and I said, be careful in here. I said, and I didn't. I, I don't remember telling anybody to get out. All I, <laughs> I know someone who did, who's very close to this microphone this morning. <laughs> Me. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, uh, I, book, I book profits. I, I'm the number one person for leaving money on the table, folks. I, I certainly am. But that, that market just kept going and going. And then right after, right in the last hour of trading, they made a little bit of a, a $3 pullback and then exploded to the upside. And we're up about another uh, 11 handles from where we were. So if you're still in that one, continue to use a, you know, a close uh, stop, uh, you know, select some what you, that you like. And, you know, because we're up here at the majors, almost at the major 61% retracement on the daily now and that, but that's really moving. Folks, we owe, the, we owe that trade 
to uh, Mr. Z. You know, he brought that to our attention about three weeks ago. We were down there at 220. We did the chart work, sent it out, and it looked uh, it looked really interesting. But uh, you have to leave some money on the table sometime. Uh, that's the way it is, and uh, you have to re realize that <laughs> you're never going to get the high tick. And uh, but you got to be uh, prepared to get back in someday. And I'll be watching for a pullback uh, with a nice little ABCD structure to uh, get us back in here and we'll uh, take a look at it. Uh, I wanted to bring up one other one here uh, before we get to the break here, which is the Amazon. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, Jimmy, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hey, it's not bad leaving money on the table. At least you're taking someone off the table. You know, that's a good thing. You know, it's not, they're not getting into your pocket. That's the main thing, you know. <laughs> Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We're back, folks, and uh, we're uh, stock markets opening. A tiny, tiny bit of pressure, not very much. Uh, Mr. Z, you posted the uh, chart, uh, or they posted the price of the E mini yesterday. At, you said at 46, uh, and it only got to 42 and three quarters, my friend. If I'm wrong on that, please, uh, please alert me because I just double checked it, and we hit uh, 42 and three quarters. The reason why 
it's so important from my standpoint, uh, 30, 40, yeah. Uh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Z. The reason why it's important, John, is because my friend over in uh, London, who we've talked about here before, that did the stuff on the Illuminati and things, he's had two numbers that he's been watching in the S&P for well over a year. I posted it once into the room here. I don't know where it is anymore. It's in my Dropbox somewhere. But the two numbers were 3044 and also 3052. Those are the two numbers. And since we're over this new moon in this area here, it's going to be interesting to see what happens from this level. So we'll be able to see this. Uh, oh, listen. You know, that's very interesting, Jimmy D, that you posted that about the 600 bucks because uh, the missus uh, is going to do that. That's that's very good. Uh, is there any, uh, Jimmy, is there any reason why you posted that? Is it, a, it's not a scam, is it? Because it's Chase and we, we, we you know, we know that bank. So, uh, wow, that's really good. That's, that's pretty good. All right. That's pretty good. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'll pass the information on. All right. Let's move on to the, uh, the banks are must be, but the banks must need money because they're certainly trying to, uh, get some stuff or that's it. Uh, uh, yeah, well, you know, six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars back for a fifty thousand deposit. Uh, that 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 is that's an amazing rate of six percent. You know, the the question is, they must really uh, <laughs> something must be going on over there. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that repo rate just to see what's happening here. You know, to uh, whether that's going to happen or not. Yes, we do have our eye very very closely on the soybeans today and tomorrow. Let's just get up here and. Uh, uh, try to take a look at what we're watching here in the beans. We're watching the uh, the contract for the uh, March soybeans is the one we're watching. And, oh, Larry, I just posted it. What did I do with it? What did I do with it? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh, I can't find it. Doug, oh, got it. Uh, I'll have to post it a little bit later, Mr. Z. Anyway, let's. Uh, the, 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 I'm looking at March beans is what I'm watching. There's one other one that I really need to get to before that because there's, it's on. It, it, it's in. It, it, it's really at a major level here, folks. Let me get this up to you to take a look at it. I want to. That's the shorter term. I want to do the longer term version first. I'm going to do start with the uh, notes and get those up here. Here's where we are in the notes as of uh, Sunday. Now we did. Go down. If you did go down, you'll see here that uh, you, we we've been down to the uh, 129 level. I think we tagged it by a little bit, uh, so we're we're due to have a rally here in the in the notes and bonds. And believe me, this is an important one, folks, because of the fact that what's going on in the markets with the interest rates. Here is the chart. Uh, over the last uh, 14 days in the Treasury bonds. And as you know, we've been uh, very bearish those uh, for quite some time. So if we take a look here, this is really, a, I think it's relatively important, folks, because it, it shows the symmetry that you have uh, in the bond market. I did it a little differently than the ABCD because this, this shows it is even clearer. Look at the move between the 11th and the 13th. You'll notice that the market rallied a little more than two points, and then it broke hard down to the uh, uh, 159 level. And what did it do? It repeated exactly the, in exactly the same thing that it did during the uh, 11th to 13th rally. We rallied exactly from 159 up to rallied a point and a half, and then boom, down again. Now, if you'll notice the last part, we're trading around 158.20 this morning. There's a number down there, folks, at 158.03, because watch that closely because if we hit that sometime today or tomorrow with the Federal Reserve you know doing their gig watch that number really close because that's the line in the sand folks because if we break below that and if we break below that interest rates are going higher not lower we still think they're going higher not lower but that would mean they're going to go faster so that number 15803 in the bonds is incredibly important we're trading around the 15820 in change area this morning so we can make that 
we could be there by the time of finishing the sentence. But uh, watch that watch that very closely because the symmetry here is really set up nicely and whether it's going to uh, hold or not. Oh, the cards and letters are just coming in so fast today, folks. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And we'll see what's happening. Let me double check here for a second to see what's happening with the markets. Uh, we're doing very little. Uh, we got the bonds coming down. We got the gold coming down. Uh, gold was able to get a little $4 rally. Uh, the gold just looks lower, folks. That's, uh, you know, the bottom line of what we're watching here. It just doesn't look like it wants to have any friends in this area. So, you know, we'll have to, uh, have to wait and see whether that's going to mean very, very much or not. Uh, Crude oil's had a 30 cent bounce, not very much. We're trading at 158.18. Watch that number, 158.03, folks. That's a big number in those bonds. That's uh, you don't have to risk more than about uh, 200 bucks if you're going to do that one because that's got <laughs> that's got Mother God and Country written right over the top of it. So we'll take a look at it as we go. We got the beans up just a slight amount. Uh, we'll be watching those very very closely. Uh, they went right down to a fib point today. That number so far that it made over. It's only three cents higher, but that was a 61% retracement uh, right on the money. So I've got to do this March bean contract because I just did it, and I don't know why it did not come through, and we are going to get it through because we are also sitting at a really interesting number in that March beans that uh, – should be able to uh, bring up to you and let you folks see it because uh, Mr. Z spends a lot of time talking. There it is. There, here's we here's here we go, Mr. Z. Here's what I'm watching. I'm our, I, I just bought it uh, last night, just a little while ago. At that, uh, I'm watching the March beans. Uh, they got down to. Uh, uh, 942, the 382 retracement. You see, we've been here now for three days at the 382 retracement. At this particular spot, you don't have to risk very much at all. Now, this is interesting because you'll notice the red box on the left. You see how it's very similar to the red box on the right? Well, it's out of that red box now, and we're now at the proverbial moment of truth. In other words, uh, this thing has to stop now from going down. So you're, you're trading a contract that's uh, worth about 50 grand, and you only have to risk about $300. So that's that's the ideal situation, because if it holds this 382 at 942, that tells us that uh, you know you have a very very low risk, and then you're going to see whether the darn thing is going to have a chance to rally. So that's how I'm following. I I don't know what the upside is. All I know is the chart looks bullish. It's been in a really tight consolidation for well over uh, two and a half weeks now, and uh, this is a very, very low risk uh, area. So might not work, but that's the kind we're taking a look at. I don't know if that's what you're doing, Mr. Z, but that's what we're looking at here. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. <clears throat> okay, folks, we're back and we were talking about the bonds. And uh, folks, we, we have made a really major top in interest rates. Uh, we, we talked about that a long time ago, but... This just doesn't look very good, the bounce that we're having here. Uh, we've been down, what, uh, four weeks now with no bounce, and we are certainly oversold under any stretch of the imagination. So uh, let's let's remember that. Now, there's been two comments about the gold, the fact that I've been bearish and the fact that the gold didn't go up. Uh, they're asking me why. <clears throat> I know I know. I, I want to— I know I have the soybean chart up, but I, I, uh, I've already talked about the soybeans. I wanted to switch over to the gold just to give you an idea. Folks, let, 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 let's, just, let's just review the gold for a second, okay? I, I, okay, hold on just a second. Let's just move on here. Uh, let's get up here a second here. We'll get here. We'll look here. Yeah, I see that too. Uh, hold on here. Let's the the fib numbers work sometimes, but th look at this hanging man uh, pattern, folks. Th this is the one uh, you've got five of them up here uh, that that are very very clear. Each one of them led to a pretty big correction. Now this one's important in gold because uh, you remember we were thirty two dollars off of the bottom that we had at fourteen ninety. That was the end of the one three five pattern. We called it important support. We sent out several emails. We sent out a video on it, and the market rallied to $32. We were on the air here, folks, on Friday when it was making $22 because I, you know, we, we talked about the fact that it was up, you know, one half of the harmonic number in gold, which is 64, half of that is 32, and that's where we were. And it stopped right at the 78% level. I didn't even, you know, mention the fact that it was also a 61% retracement of the high from uh, the mid-September, and it was also a 50% retracement for the high on September the 3rd. So you had three major ratios occurring, and now, you know, look where we're trading. We've been down to a 1480 uh, what four or so far? Uh, Eighty-six, and uh, you know this tells us the little the little bounce that we had last night was only you know nine dollars up to fourteen ninety-six, and uh, you know we're trading at eighty-seven now. This is not a bullish chart, folks. That's uh, that's the bottom line, you know. And uh, you know th this is the th this was not a hard chart to do. We we walk through this every day. That's one of the that's one of the things that I send out every day is a video on gold, and you 
usually one or two emails on it because it's such a good one to trade. And the same thing in the uh, that we look at with the crude oil. It's the same type of a thing that we're that we're looking at uh, with that. So whether that means anything or not, you know, I don't know. But uh, you know, the good part, folks, nobody else does either. That's the main thing. If you have any questions, it's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. So let's uh, see what we've got going on here in the markets. Double check here to make sure. Oh, someone asked me a question about the platinum. Platinum did pretty much the same thing. Uh, you'll notice the platinum went up. It didn't quite make uh, the 61% retracement. It only got to the 55% retracement of the high. Uh, and then what happened was uh, it didn't make the 61% retracement of the September high. But I don't trade platinum too much. So it's, you know, that, that's what the pattern is. I don't know anything else about that. Okay, Mr. Z said something about the uh, LCJ. That's April of O. Uh, that's oh the currency is good for you, my Marshall. Thank you very much. We should we we really need to cover that currency because they're in this really tight trading range. We'll we'll start with the U.S. dollar because that's you know 53 percent of what the euro does. So we we have had this nice little rally here. Uh, let's get it up here so we can take a quick look at it. You'll notice that we've got the. Uh, the dollar index has rallied up to, uh, we made it a higher high again this morning, 57.65 uh, or something like that. So we're up about five days here. Very shallow rally. Nice one, though, off of the 61% retracement exactly at 97. We were on the air talking about that because that's when the euro was trading at, uh, you know, that magical 111.85 ever. So that's, uh, that's all they're doing is hitting those things. So let's take a quick look at the euro again because that's 53% of it and you'll notice that we're coming down and that's what we sort of been expecting here in the euros to get it down in this area of around the 110 level i haven't had a chance let's just get it we've got another question coming in here oh we got a caller from florida bill are you there i am larry good morning good morning what can i do for you my friend so larry on the 30-year bond uh you called sort of a bottom this morning or, or, or last evening and boy it really came right off of that off of that uh, level and went up almost an entire point but now it's heading back toward that level so we're thinking maybe if it breaks through that that 15803 that we're heading we're heading further south and rates are going higher. 15803 is so important, Bill. That uh, it, it's just it's just incredibly important. I don't know if it's going to make it. We're trading. We're only we're only 14 ticks away right now. 148.16. One, yeah, 158.16. So we could certainly do that. But it does have a bullish bias from here only because it's so oversold. That's the real key. You know, it's it's so oversold that you have to be able to. Uh, uh, protect yourself in case it just keeps falling and falling. And, and, you know, nobody thinks that can happen because everybody believes that, you know, negative interest rates has been a good thing. And I think it's been a, well, I'm not going to say what I think. But anyway, it, it's not been a good thing, in my opinion. But, uh, right. you know, we stop and think that France and Spain and people have negative interest rates and we're paying 1.8 percent. Something's not right with that picture, my friend. No, I, I, I agree with that, Larry. But the, it was a great call. I mean, off of that level this morning, I mean, it went up almost an entire point. It would have been a, a wonderful trade. So, good well, call. for for, this, for shorter term trading, yes, that is certainly do. Now, if you're looking at this on a daily chart or weekly chart, it really doesn't mean much. But Bill, that 158.03, that means something. You know, that, that yeah. really does mean so. That's the equivalent of the gold at uh, 1565. That That's how important that number is down there. And we're getting there close so, to uh, as well. <laughs> if it breaks that level, you'd be going short. You'd, you'd, no, no, you'd no, 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 I can't do that. I, I, Bill, the, the number of times I sell weakness and make money, you can count on a, the right hand of an amputee. I mean, wow. I just don't do that. Okay. But I have to wait for a pattern to do it, and that's what I shoot for. Okay. I hope that Very helps, good. buddy. Thank you, Larry. You bet. Okay. Yep. 
All righty. All right, folks, we have to get the flag out and salute Mr. Z, Mr. Z again. We've got the soybeans. They're smoking and joking. They've really started to move, uh, hit that fib number uh, down there, and they've moved about, oh, seven, eight cents right off the bat. Good job, Mr. Z. We love you here in the room, buddy. You sure never let us down. So but what a nice call that was. If I were in that trade, and I happen to be, put your stop at your break-even point, and then you will not have to, uh, you know, not have to worry you know any more uh, about it because it looks like it's uh, it's ready to uh, have a pretty good move. No matter what happens today, you cannot lose in soybeans, folks. Because if they give you a lead like that, uh, you're risking say six cents, and they gave you eight cents. I mean, you don't want to risk fourteen cents. So put your stop back to break even because these markets have a tendency to react quickly when they do, and you want to be able to protect your backside because that's the only thing you can control when you're doing pattern recognition swing trades. And that is to protect your backside. You never know what's going to happen next. You're always going to leave some money on the table. You're always going to make mistakes. You're always going to be wrong. But in the back of the mind, you know that when the train leaves the station, you'll have a few bucks. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right.
right, folks, uh, we have got some good information from Mr. P.S. Uh, thank you, Patrick, for letting us know that it looks like Monday is going to be the Aramco IPO. And the news is they're out uh, beating the bushes to get in secured investors. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we've been in a really tight trading range in oil from 66 to 51. And uh, I heard rumors they were trying to get this above 64 for the uh, uh, what you call it. But it takes a lot of people to move that oil market, folks. And uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, we did complete that ABCD. We backed off $2 uh, a barrel in crude. And whether it continues to rally from uh, from the low that made today, which is only rallied about 30 cents. But we'll see what happens uh, with the crude oil. Remember, we're going to have our good friend, uh, hopefully Bill Meridian, here on Friday. Uh, Stan Harley still recovering from the flu, so we'll have him back next week. And yeah, that'll be uh, always good to have Stan on. Stan had a really uh, big day uh, forecast here for the, uh, I think it was the 26th of October. No, it couldn't have been that. That was a Saturday. It must have been, I think it might have been yesterday. He had a day that was supposed to be better. Well, yesterday was certainly big because we had a big move uh, in some of these things. So we'll pay close attention to know what uh, we'll see. What's uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's. Uh, uh, that would be good. It, it, it would be nice uh, if. Uh, if you folks let me know uh, who else you would like to see as uh, any guests that you might want to have on, because I try to get as many diverse opinions here as we possibly can. You want to listen to this old cowboy all the time. It gets a little boring looking at ABCD. Reminds me of everything. Every day Mark came into the office, he would always say, another day for ABCD. And that's what we look for here at uh, – Trading Tutor and uh, TFNN. So that's about it, boys and girls. Uh, let's live every day in the attitude of gratitude, and we'll uh, do something nice for somebody today that has a lot less than you. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow and uh, probably on a higher opening. So it looks like we're heading up to that 30, uh, 3050 level, 877-927-6648.